Hello, I'm Eric Pepin with the Higher Balance Institute. Um, I'd like to talk to you today about a number of new and exciting technologies um, that I think are completely relative to spirituality, metaphysics, the paranormal, or what I like to think as essentially spirituality. I've never really seen a difference between technology, science, if you will, and spirituality. I've always seen them as synonymous. It was just a matter of them crossing one another. I also think that a lot of people who have heard of Higher Balance or of the material that I teach may make the assumption that we really don't look at things in a scientific way or that we consider ourselves um, as part of a new age concept. Um, just for the record, I need to get it off my chest. I'm very anti-new age in the sense of crystals and energies and frequencies. I'm not a big fan of binaural technology, uh, these kind of things. Um, I love science. I love logic and all of the experiences I have ever had in my life as a psychic who worked on many cases, who worked on many various forms of phenomena and experience phenomena, I've always come at things with a background that would be, in my opinion, more logical or reasonable or by deduction. And I've always accredited this to my mother being more of a German atheist in her thinking and when certain phenomena would occur due in my life, uh, she often would come at it with a logical explanation. And of course, my response was, well, if ghosts don't exist, how, you know, what was that? What was this glowing energy? Um, it was intelligent, it was interactive, it didn't necessarily look like a human, it didn't look like certain things. So I would always ask these kind of questions. I would ask questions like, well, when people say a ghost spoke to them or it made noise, I mean, where are the lungs to produce sound? How does it see us if it doesn't have icons for reflective light? How does it hear us if it doesn't have eardrums? So I like to think that a higher balance is based upon a very different new approach to metaphysics, to spirituality. And I wanna separate myself as far apart from new age or different forms of thinking in the spiritual communities. I don't agree with, with the majority of things out there, such as how telepathy is described through hearing voices in your head. I don't think that's at all how it works, nor is it how I've experienced or taught other people I experience, but yet it's, it's as profound uh, as you would hope it to be. Same goes for a remote view and astral projection. I think they're all the same thing. They're all from the same region of the brain, time, space, relationship, et cetera, so on. But I like to think that higher balance cuts out all the BS, gets to the core. We try to use as much logic and science as society is uh, on a general level able to understand. Um, we are very proud of the fact that uh, I was informed at one point that we have the highest level of college educated people in the industry. Um, we've got a lot of smart people. Uh, I look for smart people and I certainly hope that smart people who take an interest in what I'm doing uh, will approach me or send me an email to communicate more if they have similar interests. Uh, there's simply just too much phenomena that I think is not dismissible in the eyes of science. And I, I think that science itself is a, a form of thinking that basically corners one's uh, understanding or they limit what they'll allow in and what they won't. And um, I think that one has to be careful of that. I would simply say there are things that I've experienced, I have done, I have been part of in the sense that would not fall in lines of mainstream science, but yet there it was, there it occurred. I refuse to look at it in new age terms because I think it's just simplicity. I don't think when it's approaching that, I just think it's people trying to understand something they, they probably are not able to understand. I'd rather try to approach it in a more logical format. So a lot of people wonder what exactly does higher balance teach? We teach everything paranormal from the idea of ESP to telepathy to astral projection, mind projection to psychic healing, you name it, but throw out 90% of everything you've ever thought about what you've learned and how it works and we will show you a completely new approach that will blow your mind. And the results are just simply off the charts. And I like to cut out all the BS and get to the core of stuff and keep it simple, real, but most of all, it's you who 
have to experience the result. It's my job to get you that experience as quickly as possible before you lose interest. And if I achieve that, we both know that you're gonna stay interested and continue learning as long as you continue to have the success rate that I'm often able to produce for you. So having given a little bit of a breakdown, um, there's a lot of things that people may be shocked that I would approach as a spiritual teacher. I'm often put in a situation where, you know, oh, you're a guru or you're enlightened or you're supposed to be like a spiritual person that has a certain kind of lifestyle or whatever, whatnot. And I refuse to be put into any box. I simply insist on being who I am and whatever that is defined as is really just being me, no more than you are being you. I have interests and I have knowledge and I have the right to share that knowledge with anybody who's interested in, in, in having that exchange of information or teachings or training. That's how I look at it. Having said that, I'm highly interested in artificial intelligence. I'm highly interested in genetics. I'm highly interested in science as a whole. And I will utilize any one of those things in a practical sense as much as possible. I don't make any claims to be in the scientist. I don't make any claims to have this information down pat as a person who is a professional in that area. I do happen to have access to a lot of people who are experts in those fields and have very interesting conversations and have a lot of my thinking confirmed to be excellent. So one of the reasons we're doing this video right now is for some time I've been talking about artificial intelligence to my people per se, my organization, people within HBI. It's kind of a very controlled topic. There's a lot of conversations and training and teaching and experiences that take place that never make it to the public on this level, to a YouTube channel. And uh, in some ways, you know, there's a, there's a part of me that just goes, you know, it's just too mind-blowing uh, for probably the majority of people to, to believe or accept as these things are really happening. And I would hope that we come off as sensible, logical, uh, deduction, reasonable people um, compared to what it, the ideal is of New Agers. Um, you know, what I would say is the airy fairy approach versus people who uh, have a more, their feet on the ground kind of approach. Uh, for some time, we've had conversations from everything from vampires and whether they exist or do not exist to time traveling to future people visiting our time space. Um, we, interestingly enough, the general public probably doesn't know, we have done very large experiments as an organization and probably do more experimentation on a level of consciousness than probably any organization I'm aware of uh, that is on the level that we are. Um, I mean, we've gone as far as to be at the Portland Art Institute, which a lot of people may or may not know, and we took a massive, gigantic room, and I had a gigantic black box built that was approximately 10, 15 feet high for its walls all the way around by about 20 feet, and we had about 100 people around it focusing on non-thought for that box to not exist, uh, to believe it doesn't exist. We also would have a group of people inside the box who were meditating, and the experiences they had were quite profound. Um, that's just a very small sliver of some of the stuff that we do. I would consider ourselves extremely cutting edge in the metaphysical paranormal field compared to anything that's out there. In fact, I'd be bold enough to say, and as arrogant as it may sound, we are probably the most cutting edge spiritually slash technologically that I'm aware of. Um, it's not to say that there are not other uh, organizations out there that are doing exceptional work, but as a whole, we tend to have a very large 
um, a variety of this technology right down to just upstairs what we call the upgrade room and the technology we were developed uh, for uh, using audible sounds and affecting consciousness through uh, various patterns and rhythms and pitches of frequencies and altering states of consciousness. In fact, some of the things that we um, are doing uh, a little bit more on a private level are basically as visionary and as intense and as, as real and probably more vivid um, HD, RRR, uh, for the level of it than people who are using psychedelic drugs or ayahuasca or things like that. The point is, is that we are delving within the capacities and pushing the capacities of the human brain, um, which is my passion, safely, of course, uh, without drug use of any type, but I think it's completely possible to push these realms. I just think that the majority of people who've had paranormal experiences simply dress it or try to explain it in ways uh, that really muck it up. They, they really don't truly have a, a sensible approach to it. I like the idea of being able to train people because it's one thing for me to say that I've done this or that or I've experienced this or that. So I'm a firm believer that I won't take that approach. The approach that I prefer to take and have taken for well over a decade um, is the fact that I will show you how to have these experiences. You decide how real they are. And this is probably what's created probably one of the best uh, loyalty um, and commitment to the teachings of the material we, we offer in the industry. Um, uh, it is what it is. So now that I've kind of babbled on about a number of different things, let's get to the meat of the conversation today. Um, 